Copy on right means you can treat a value type as a reference type up until the point you need to make a change to it, in which case you're copying it. So there's a few things to go through here, reference types, value types and copy on right. So let's get started. So here we have an example of reference types. If you create a class which is a reference type, then each copy of the reference type will still point to the original reference. So my rect and second rect in this example both point to the same rectangle instance. You're not creating a true copy, you're pointing to the original instance. So that's reference types. Value types, which is structs and also most of the Swift primitive types like integer and string. When you make a copy, you create a different instance. So my rect and second rect in this instance point to different instances of a rectangle. So one change to one won't affect change to the other. So value and reference types and the difference between them are really important in understanding what's going on in your code. So the Swift compiler uses copy on right, and that means to treat a copy of a value type, say an array, as a reference type, so to point to the original reference and only copy when you make a change. And a true copy is so you have two separate copies of the array and only do that when it's required to when you're making a change. So I've used one of Swift's functions here with unsafe buffer pointer so I can see the address location. So let's step through this example. Swift is using copy on right so it's going to use the same reference so both arrays will point to the same location until we make a change. So Array 1 is two strings, Jim and Kim, and Array 2 is the copy of it, and this is where I'm storing the locations. So Array 1 happens to be in this location. Perfect. Array 2, remember Array 2 is a copy of Array 1, is in exactly the same location. So it's treating these two, Array 1 and Array 2, as pointing to the same memory location which is how you would treat a reference type. So we can check for that and it actually works out to be true when we print this to the console. So if I make a change to array two, because they're pointing to the same memory location, then in theory you'd change both of them. But Swift doesn't do that as you know. So what happens is, well Swift uses copy on right. We're going to make a right so array 2 suddenly has a different address location. So it's not pointing to the same location as soon as we make this change and this would be false. And I just want to tell you, if you run this on your own machine, you'll get a different address locations. Probably, it's very unlikely you might get the same ones. And if you print the result at the end of this, what array 1 and array 2 is, it's as you'd expect as in Array 1 would have Jim and Kim and Array 2 would have James and Kim. And that proves that we're using copy on right, while well, where Swift is using it. You can actually implement it yourself. If you look at the article in the description, it explains how to do just that. So I hope that's useful to you. I wonder if you subscribe if that means you're a reference type or a value type. Doesn't matter. No one watches the end anyway, so who cares? Who cares what you do? Have fun. Have a good coding, whatever.